All right, this brings us to some of the readings. We are almost done, done, done. Dum, 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 dum. Um, you know, uh, this is chapter nine about blasphemy and morality and respect my philosopher. You know, blasphemy has been used for comedic effect for a long time in jokes, in comedy, in films, in books, in, in, in so many different forms of expression. And they kind of go, they kind of go uh, hand in hand. Now, um, <clears throat> South Park, as we know, was born out of blasphemy. Like, it's like dependent on it in so many ways. And these episodes we watched today and we watched, uh, you know, in our last module on uh, Catholicism and Christianity really are blasphemous, right? Like, they um, are total blasphemy to the adherence of these, these, these beliefs and have been censored as such. Okay. And so in this chapter, the author talks about and brings in this theory of utilitarianism, which is a, a libertarian philosopher. You may remember him, John Stuart Mill's idea. Now, basically, um, what utilitarianism is, at least at its very core, is that you, um, to decide what's moral or what's good or what's right, you know, and let's just talk about an episode of South Park with blasphemy in it, right? You have to weigh the positive and the negative outcomes of this blasphemous portrayal of you know, uh, the Church of Scientology or the, ca the Catholic Church or, you know, you could think about utilitarianism and, and many of the, you know, how, like how South Park portrays politics or, or, or sexuality or whatever it is. And you have to look at the positive and negatives of their portrayal, right? And, the, um, and under utilitarianism, like the right way of doing things is based on a balance. What is morally right is based on the balance of these two of these two factors. And ultimately, you know, there needs to be more more of a positive, um, you know, um, and and you have to look at what is going to give the greatest happiness of the people. So again, we're talking about blasphemy, blasphemy, and blasphemous portrayals. Like you have to like weigh, yeah, like Mormons are going to maybe be offended. Scientologists are going are gonna to be pissed, but like, what are the positive effects of that for, for, other, for other people? <clears throat> or maybe, you know, positive effects would be like, maybe someone, you know, who's uh, grown up in the Church of Scientology sees that episode and sees it, from a, sees it from a different perspective, and they bail. What, whatever it is, right? Um, and so, like, utilitarianism is basically... In any potential situation, the right decision to make is when you balance the positive and, and, and the negative, and you look at the consequences of the action that it will have on society and on, on, on people. And the right thing to do is ultimately, um, you know, whatever action has the greatest good for the greatest amount of people. So, he kind of asked in this chapter is like, based upon this perspective of utilitarianism, is uh, blasphemy, you know, from a moral perspective, acceptable? And the answer is, fuck yes it is. <laughs> no, I mean, possibly, right? I mean, I mean, that's actually probably a question for you, you know, uh, really like, you know, is showing the Prophet Muhammad versus not showing the Prophet Muhammad. Like, you got to think about the harm there, you know, and the choice of, of, of Comedy Central to not air that again and to censor it. You know, was that a utilitarian decision? How did that, how, how did they weigh, balance those? But we know, like, basically, you know, what blasphemous humor is. And the author goes into this, and I like to use this image of Buddha bumping rails of Coke, you know. Um, you know, to have something be funny um, that's sacred, you know, it has to be disrespected. Blasphemous humor is taking something or someone that's sacred and disrespecting the fuck out of them. And that's really the core of South Park. So if we want to look at the application of utilitarianism to blasphemous humor, this is based on the book, right? You have to look at everybody affected in, you know, an episode about Scientology or, or Mormonism, right? We have to look at who's happy 
you know, the, the weighting of happiness versus unhappiness, right? So we sit there in a class of 40 people and we could assess how many people are sad about the portrayal of Mormons or Scientologists and how many people it made happy, made us, made us laugh. We have to think to, right, and then we decide whether that's good or not, <clears throat> whether that's good or not. Uh, then um, we have to think about, well, what happens when South Park's censored? What happens when this is taken out of South Park? What's the effect of that? What is the value of South Park with blasphemy in it, blasphemous humor, or with, without it? And, 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 and how does that balance out? Like, we have to look at, at the, you know, the positive and negative of that. Like, is, uh, you know, what's the value of blasphemy and what's the harm of blasphemy in South Park? If it's not there, you know, that's also really important too. What are the direct consequences of blasphemous humor, right? Well, obviously, adherents may be offended. Catholics may be offended. Scientologists may be offended. Mormons may be offended. But then it makes people like me laugh. <laughs> That's a direct consequence, right? We're thinking real direct. Like, we all sit down, we watch this episode with 100 people. A few people are going to be offended. A few people are going to laugh. Or maybe more than a few are going to laugh. Or depending on where you watch it, maybe a lot of people will be offended. And then there's indirect consequences. This may, you know, these episodes that we watch today may promote intolerance. You may meet someone on campus or at work that say, oh yeah, I'm a Mormon, and you scoff at them, and you make fun of them, right? Like, you could become intolerant towards, towards those people, and that's not necessarily, I don't think, what South Park is advocating for. That's not necessarily good. Um, it may also desensitize you in, in so many ways to being, like, open, you know, and accepting <laughs> of different religious um, beliefs. But also the positive of this may be making people think critically about not the religion itself, but I mean so many of the topics that we that we discussed today and in last class, like the value, the value of stories, what we get from those uh, stories, manipulating people, uh, violence, cultism, etc. Okay. And basically, in this chapter, you know, the author argues that you, we need blasphemous humor. It's like important. It's, it's just so important because it in increases discourse, it increases discussion, it increases debate. Um, it creates an open society where we do have debate and we talk about things and we change and we, we adjust. There's an exchange of, of ideas. And society is more happier and balanced because we have blasphemous humor. Like, we would be worse off if we weren't able to critique belief systems, right? Just think about that. Imagine being in a society where you were not allowed or able to critique a belief system.